The one of the units that is very popular and I like is actually the PAR-16. We have them available in black, silver and white. With the PAR-16, you can use either PAR-16 screw in base lamp or you could use any of our other most popular units are the RGB color changing um, E27 units. Uh, in this version, this particular lamp comes in three version bases. One of them is the MR16 bi-pin that is actually able to control voltages from 9 volts to 22 volts. So it's going to fit into any fixture that is an MR16 fixture uh, that has the voltage of 9 to 22. It has the GU10 base that is capable of uh, connecting to any GU10 base unit that has voltage from 110 to 240. And of course, the E27 base that we're going to use today and going to implement today and demonstrate today that has the same thing voltage from 110 to 240. So, just to show you, I just disconnected this unit from the base, connected my lamp, plugged it in, and voila! It's very simple, very nice, very easy. And the beauty, I'm able to achieve almost any color I would like to achieve. Um, the units have even a remote. They have two styles of remote, a small one and a big one. That is an IR remote. Very, very important to keep in mind. People think that when you are using the remote, you're able to synchronize the light. It's an IR remote, so actually, I'll pinpoint to a unit, it will control that unit, but the rest of the units will not be synchronized. The way you synchronize this unit is actually through the power switch on and off, and I'll show you that right now. So, I just connected here four power 16 with RGB color changing, two one, basically power switch. I'm going to turn the light on, and as you can see, my lights are not synchronized because I just connected this light into the link, and those were synchronized in advance. By me turning the switch on and off, automatically that synchronizes my light because my light sends signal, a frequency through the unit and that synchronizes them. So really for me to control this light, I don't need a remote. All I need is an on and off switch. Uh, we're going to go through the different functions of this unit by turning the switch on and off and give you a demonstration of what you are able to get from this particular unit. So. The first step is actually you get the color white. If I turn this switch off and on, the next color is the red. My next color is my green. And all I'm doing that is by turning the switch on and off without any remote. Blue. Um, hard for me to say which color you have, but I think the video will demonstrate better the colors because some people will give it another color or I might give it another name. But I'm showing you the colors that I'm able to go through just by turning the switch on and off. And I'm showing you how this is synchronized. Uh, the beauty of this item is for bars, display, storefronts. Very, very, very nice application. Very easy, power consuming, no heat, lifetime, almost as far as the life of the lamp. And at the same time, very nice color very easy to control. By me just putting them all on the same power line, I'm able to synchronize them. No need for a remote. And by me turning the switch on and off, as you can see, these are the, all the solid colors you have available for this unit. And we're going to get to the built-in programs that you have into this unit right now that is starting now. Basically, you have, after you go through all the solid colors, you have a fast chest, we have a slow chest, you have a fast crossfade, and you have a slow crossfade. Now once you went all these solid colors and those four 
built-in programs that you have into the unit. If you turn the switch on and off again, you come back to your white, and then you go back again through the presets color. Keep in mind, very important to keep that in mind, that if I want to keep my light in a particular mode, I don't want every time to turn my switch on and off to get to the color I want to get to. All I have to do is really keep that light, or those lights, in that particular color that I would like more than two minutes at that point that saves that particular color into the memory. So next time when I turn my light off and turn it on again, it will start at that particular color. So if I would leave this light right now on red for more than two minutes, it will memorize it into this particular unit and next time I'm turning on, it's going to start at red and not going to go to the next color. If I want to take it out of that memory, all I need to do is turn the switch on and off and it will take it out of the memory.